Hello and welcome to ESPN and C-SPAN simulcast, the annual flight football game between the Washington Democrats and the Texas Senate. My name is Brock McMead, I'm doing the play-by-play -play today, and joining me is our political analyst, Buffy McWonkington. Welcome, Buffy. Thank you for having me, Brock. We're here at the sidelines of Darrell P. Royal Memorial Stadium. That is until the Longhorns football team discovers us and kicks us out. This is my first time at a football game. <laughs> Well, guess what, Buffy? This is my first taste of state politics. I'm not even registered to vote. How nice for you to never lose any sleep over our repressive state government. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> so, so tell us, Buffy, what's at stake in today's game? Well, Brock, if Republicans win, they maintain control of the Senate. And if the Democrats win? Republicans maintain control of the Senate. <laughs> well, the starters are out on the field, and... Do I count more Republicans than Democrats? Yes, that's right, Brock. There are twice as many Republicans as there are Democrats in the Senate. Yikes, we might as well be watching the 85 Bears take on the 76 Buccaneers. Am I right, Buffy? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the officials are on the field, and it looks like they're checking players' IDs. Oh, sweet Lord, we have an ejection on our hands before play even begins. Yes, Brock, it looks like Democrat Kirk Watson did not bring appropriate identification. <laughs> Republicans just snuck through with their calling a player ID law despite not even being in <laughs> Senator Watson, were you not aware of this so-called player ID law? Obviously not. Uh, then you should know, Senator, that penalty is not only disqualification from this game, but also deportation to your family's country of origin. <laughs> Where might that be for you, Senator? <laughs> well, in that case, enjoy civilian life abroad, Senator O. Watson. That's a good luck to you. <laughs> well, the Democrats are going to kick off from their 20 yard. They're moving them back to the 10 yard line. I've never seen that before. What? No explanation whatsoever. Well, anyways, 72-year-old uh, Judith Zaff. Uh, Zaff Rainey. Thank you. She lines up for the kick, and it's a weak kick. Dan Patrick knocks over several of his teammates, scoops up the ball, runs around the edge, right past John Whitmire, who's busy checking his re-election campaign account balance on his iPhone. That's disrespectful to this game. It really is. Word has it he has about $8 million in that war chest of his, and he doesn't like to share with other more vulnerable Democratic candidates. Even though it's perfectly legal. Dan Patrick runs around the edge and he's being chased by Carlos Uresti? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick makes a move. Goes back the other way. Uresti's chasing after him. <laughs> oh my goodness, Uresti yanks off his legs. That's really impressive considering Uresti's wearing handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, being, a, being convicted of wire and securities fraud tends to impair one's freedom of motion, Brock. He did. He, he did. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Dan Patrick's calling a timeout over there. Let's see if we can get a word from the Republican self-appointed captain and head coach. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! How you boys doing today? I'm stupendous. Thanks for asking. This is going to be one serious ass whooping I can guarantee. Woo! Uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, about the player ID law. Let's stick to the man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a football game. We're not in session right now. Uh, no, technically neither is the legislature, yet you still managed to pass this ridiculous law. I'm sorry, darling. My team needs me. And that means I need me. Let's <laughs> go, GOP! G-O-G-O-P! 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 Boy, that Dan Patrick, he's like a firecracker and he isn't he? <laughs> Well, Dan Patrick hikes the ball to himself and <laughs> runs around the edge. Oh, right into Boris Miles and knocks the ball out of his hands. And now Patrick dives on top of him and tackles, and that's pretty interesting considering this is supposed to be flag football. <laughs> and now we've got a dust up on our hands. Boris Miles is waving a firearm in the air. Again. Again? Yes, Boris Miles was indicted 10 years ago for brandishing a pistol at two parties in Houston. Are those gunshots? Don't look at me. I can't even find my gun. <laughs> uh, who? Who indeed? Let's go back to the gun. <laughs> well, I didn't see any shots right from the field. Uh, oh, oh. Holy point of order. That is Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller in that hot air balloon. He's an avid supporter of hunting feral hogs from the air. <laughs> Smelled the 
pigskin? <laughs> it was back to the action. It looks like the Democrats have the ball. They're going to huddle up now, and, and they can't agree on a play call. Shocking! <laughs> and now there's a flag on the field? What is going on out there? Say, let's see if we can get an explanation. Say, Ref, what's going on out there? himself again, and, and now, oh my gosh, governor slash referee is trying to strip the ball out of his hands. What the heck? Oh, and now it pops loose, and it's scooped up by defensive tackle Royce West. He's rumbling with it. He's a big boy. It's at the 20. The 19. 18. Oh my gosh, the Republicans have built a wall around the end zone. And now his flag is ripped off by Eddie Lucio? Is that his teammate? Did they switch, did they switch teams? Yeah, he does that. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. That's the end of the first half where it's been all distraction and no action. Welcome to the Les Brock. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take a commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We'll come right back for a riveting halftime lecture by Secretary of State Rolando B. Pablos, who explained to us why he rejected 2,400 voter registration cards. Don't go away. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 